New Case Construction Limited were initially given nine months by the Ministry of Youth and Sports to complete renovation of the facility. However, the period was extended by three months due to some circumstances beyond the control of the contractor in the initial plan for the renovation. It has been almost a year since the contractor moved to site, but he is unable to meet the required time handed to him by the Ministry of Youth and Sports. According to the contractor, Mr. Paul Athanga, some of the challenges they encountered in the course of work were not factored in in the time frame when they were handed the job. Where Kanechi Sports Complex is located uh, is a uh, waterlogged area. Actually, the substructure works here is always very, very difficult. And as you can see at the VIP, it has taken us over uh, three months to even to get over the substructure works. We've actually deployed like six machines here, still, the water is still a challenge. So, water is basically our challenge when it comes to works at the Kanishi Sports Complex. Project manager Mr. Anaman also explained that due to the challenges the contractor encountered, he could not be held responsible for his inability to meet the deadline. We actually did a sword cutting in February, not expecting anything to go wrong. And we all agreed that um, in nine months, the contractor should be able to finish the project and hand over. Unfortunately, somewhere around um, April last year, um, it started raining and we realized that the whole of Kanishi, the rain that collects from there passes through this place to join the Odo River. And the current is very huge. So we realized that we need to do something about it. Of course, it was affecting work as well. And then during the process, we realized that there was a pipeline under the field which collects the water that comes from uh, Kanishi to the Odo. And we have to work on it. So we diverted the pipeline. That alone took about three months to get the, the, the diversion done. All this affected the contractor. So now that the weather is stable, I mean, Work is progressively coming up and I, I'm, I think that even though he's not been able to meet the deadline, we are considering reviewing the duration, the contract period for him. And um, all stakeholders, that is uh, the National Youth Authority, the Ministry, the consultant and then the contractor himself will come to the table and agree on a, a day that we all think will be okay for the project to be completed and then handed over. The Ministry of Youth and Sports and the National Youth Authority is spending $1.8 million on this project.